I'm on the set of The Middle, and we're celebrating our 200th episode, which is unbelievable. And um, we've had a, a really beautiful big cake with the Orson cow on top, and we have all the writers and all the people from ABC and everybody from Warner Brothers, and we've all been a big family for nine years, and it's a huge blessing. You know, whenever you start a show, you don't know if you're going to be canceled the next week, and so to end up being nine seasons and over 200 episodes is kind of a miracle and so um, and but not only that to have the quality of the writing not only stay as great as it was from the beginning but get better and better and better is um, really a gift so um, we're all thrilled that we all got to experience this together and kind of watch everybody grow up together What's great about having our 200th episode um, this week is that the, the actual episode is about Orson celebrating 100 years but also being voted the 200th best place to live in Indiana. So <laughs> there's a big, uh, you know, sort of a festival in the town and we unveil the, the new and improved Orson cow and there's a lot of um, celebrating of being the 200th best uh, uh, city to live in in Orson. So it's been a lot of fun because we've had lots of um, cast come back um, including Brian Doyle Murray and um, have this sort of like great revisiting of Orson so it's been great. We stopped for a while, had a champagne toast, some people said some nice words, and uh, cut a cake shaped like the cow that is a centerpiece of Orson. And uh, it was all very nice. People had nice things to say. Some execs were here and presidents of the network and studio, and it was, it was very nice. It doesn't happen very often, and um, I feel uh, fortunate, very grateful to have been part of a thing. It doesn't, uh, it went fast. It took nine years, but somehow it went fast. <laughs> oh, it's a pretty amazing thing. You have to feel, you have to feel fortunate, and, and, and I do. Orson, the town we live in, is celebrating its 200th, being named one of the 200 best towns in Indiana. So it's a wink to the fact that it's also our 200th episode. For one thing, the writing is very good. It's fun to play uh, a character that's so grounded, I think, in what is, uh, for many people, reality. Um, I knew people like the Hex growing up. It's more or less my background. And um, I enjoy uh, working with my uh, little pretend family here. We, have, uh, we all get along well, and so no matter who you're in a scene with, it's... Uh, it's enjoyable. Orson is voted the 200th most livable city in Indiana. Um, and they're, the whole town is celebrating them receiving that 200th ranking. Uh, so they kind of like slipped that in. We were working and then we had a big celebration. Uh, where there was a cow, or there's a cake with a cow. It's a cow and cake. It was a cow cake. It was a cake cow. It was a, it was a cow. Oh no, a cake cow is just a cow. Oh, it's just a cake. <laughs> um, and it's yeah, that's the only way to do a cow cake is cake cake. Um, and then and all, all these people came out, and they made lovely speeches, and everyone congratulated, and we uh, it's just a big congratulations fest. Getting praise sometimes is like. Oh, like, oh, we are, oh, it was, well, people enjoy us. Okay. <laughs> people like us. Yeah. 200 times. 200 times, yep, yeah. Confirmed. Honestly, it doesn't feel like 200. I think that's what's hard about it, is it kind of feels, Yeah. it doesn't feel like that. You are here on Stage 31 of Warner Ranch in the Heck House set, actually the Heck Master Bedroom set specifically, and we are celebrating our 200th episode. It's an incredible honor to hit this milestone. 200 episodes does not happen all the time. Um, and I'm very honored that this is the show that is, is the first for me. Um, not only is this my first sitcom where I'm a main character, but it's the first time I've hit 100 episodes, now 200. That's incredible, it's a huge blessing. 
The writers kind of came up with a creative way of incorporating the number into the episode. And um, without giving too much away, Orson uh, has hit a list where they are the top. Two, they are in the top 200 state um, cities to live in Indiana. They've hit that list, and so there's a big town celebration, and they're celebrating the fact that they made this list. This show is such a unique show because it, it does show uh, not only a family dynamic, but it's a real family dynamic. It's real life issues, real life family problems, not only when, you, when you're when you growing up as a kid, but what do you do when you are uh, two parents trying to get by. And I love not only the realness of the show, but I love how each character is unique. And especially with my character, Brick, it shows you, it is okay to be unique. You can follow the beat to your own drummer. In his case, he, he loves books, he's smart, and he He's a good role model in that way, and I'm very honored that not only can I play that character, but I can play that character for so long. Good. The show is tremendous. We're so grateful to have it. We're grateful to be able to share this final season and this milestone moment of 200 episodes. I will say that more people watch the premiere of season eight than watch the premiere of the pilot, which is not something you can say for a long running show. And that is a testament to the fact that you created a show that was supposed to be about a family in the middle, and it's a show that really resonates from coast to coast. So congratulations. Yeah, I'm <laughs> <laughs>